What's going on guys? It's Bruce Matz and your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football. Just going over some news real quick on Dak Press, guys. Getting another MRI on his shoulder. By the time you watch this, we'll probably already know some more information about it because of the transition process of me uploading this video onto YouTube. What actions can we take from this news to impact our fantasy football teams to make our teams better? Right now, he's being drafted on average Per 444's multi-site ADP, he's being drafted as the QB5. On average, between all the sites on their ADP, when you mix it all together, it's around 47th overall. Anywhere from like 63 overall to as high as the 36th pick. So depending on where you're drafting at, your format, um, who you're playing with, he could be drafted pretty high. He could be faded a little bit. But the one thing to notice is that if this news starts to drag out, or Dallas starts being a little more cryptic with the information about his injury going forward, we can take advantage of that by just monitoring the ADP and then seeing how far he personally falls in your draft. So if he's falling, let's say, past the top 50, 70 in drafts, 80, because people are not willing to take the injury risk, if he's falling to a part in the draft you're willing to take that risk, pull the trigger. Because this Dallas offense... It's fast-paced. They want to move the ball. They have a lot of receiving options. That defense, they added some players to it in the draft, but it's more than likely not going to be much better than last year. Maybe it'll be a little bit better, but not enough to really impact the offensive flow. So Dallas is going to need to be moving the ball. There's been a quote out from Dak saying he wants the offense to be more balanced. Everybody wants their team to be more balanced, because that indicates that they're able to do everything in their offensive game plan unless they want their game plan to be a certain way. But if the game script calls him to have to throw the ball, which this defense looks like it's going to indicate that, then they're going to have to do it. So Dak being on the field healthy, throwing the ball, throwing the rock could mean a lot of fantasy points, could mean a good value for your fantasy team. And if you're going to take that risk with Dak drafting Sixth, seventh, eighth round, wherever he falls to, whatever happens, we don't know the values right now. This is fresh off the press, pretty much. Pick up another quarterback with one of your last picks. 17th round, 18th round, 16th round, whatever. Just pick one up just in case you have a dude for the first few weeks of the season. If worst happens, if the worst case scenario comes into effect, you're covered. If for some reason Dak goes even worse than that, you can always just stream quarterbacks and you'll probably be able to manipulate yourself, your team, into QB1 production anyways. That's just how things work when you stream. So streaming quarterbacks is a cheap way to get production. You can get QB1 production. So when you take a risk on Dak and it busts, you're not completely off the hook. You can still be able to put together a good team. It's not going to kill you. But the upside there is real. He could be a QB1. He has that production. He has the rushing production. He has the pieces around him. Good run game. Offensive line is healthy for now. Receiving pieces. We got CD Lamb balling out, mossing on dudes every day in camp. Amari Cooper's back and healthy. Michael Gallup's on a contract year. He's going to be hitting the market, so he's going to want to do his best to help increase his price tag. This team is good right now and good to go with all the pieces for him to be successful. So as long as his shoulder's fine, as long as they're just taking precautionary measurements to make sure he's all right, and he's there week one taking snaps, then he's good to go. To recap what I just went over, we're just watching the market. We're watching what ADP happens with Dak. If he starts falling in your draft, past ADP, and you're interested in this Dallas offense, pull the trigger on them. See what happens. It's worth the risk. Scared money doesn't make money. So if you're not willing to take any risks, I'm not saying go completely risky in your draft, but if you're not willing to risk on a player or two here and there, the odds of you winning your league decreases because it doesn't set you apart from the rest of the pack. And we see this time in and time out. Sometimes it's rookies in the later rounds. Sometimes it's at the quarterback position. Sometimes it's that oddball running back who's got some athleticism who gets anointed in the starting role. Whatever it is, sometimes you just got to make a decision that's a little bit risky with some uncertainty and just roll with it. But just monitor Dak's value, his ADP going forward. And if you're interested and if he's coming at you at a value, 
take it. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out, and I'll catch you next time.